Hello and welcome to Outside the Book. I'm Barbara Deeb coming to you from the Southern Kentucky Festival of Books. It's our way of taking you beyond the covers of that book and getting into the head of the authors and illustrators. Joining us right now, Stacy Curtis, who is an illustrator and um, author. You get you get both nods today, Stacy, <laughs> And you're a native of the, this region. Right. which is even better, and you went to Western Kentucky University. Yes, I did. And you know, the the college newspaper is called the College Heights Herald, if you're not familiar with that, and you worked there for a number of years. Yeah, I was the editorial cartoonist at the Herald. So does one grow up and say, I'm going to be a cartoonist when I grow up? Did you always have that? Yes, I, I grew up reading Peanuts and Garfield in the paper, so I've always wanted to be a cartoonist. I didn't know that. And so it's one thing to want to do that. It's another thing to be able to do that. You obviously have a gift. Did you did you know that or nurture that? Um, yeah. Even when I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to draw. So I've always drawn. And so with practice and stuff, I kept getting better and better. And um, I just worked toward my goal of being a cartoonist. That's huge. So someone watching this program who says, you know, I've always wanted to do that. Right. You can. Yes, absolutely. And when I do school visits and talk to um, students in school, I always tell them that you can do whatever you want. And I, I came through the same school system that they did, sitting in the same spots that they did, and um, you, you can do whatever you want. So That's interesting because I had this conversation with someone the other day who was saying, even though they always tell us that you can do anything you want, some have a greater gift than others and you obviously are very gifted oh, thanks you obviously are very gifted now you do the illustrations for the seven habits of happy kids and if you're familiar with that series it's the Covey series the Stephen Covey and the Sean Covey and so that in and of itself is a huge entity for for young people you know telling them mm -hmm. they can do anything they want how do you then make the illustrations work to tell that story um, I, I got the stories and created um, the characters of the seven habits, and then I just matched the illustrations to the stories and um, just um, illustrate like the action in the stories. So, um, so it works well with the story. And you know, there are words, but then there are visuals, and so you speak through a visual medium. You've got a generation right now of children who are very visually oriented, mm -hmm. probably more so than other generations. And so does that present a greater challenge to you? Um, it actually works in my favor because I get to do the illustrations and most of my books are illustration heavy. Like on every single page there's an illustration. So it, it works in my favor to, to be able to draw toward those kids. Now, when you are writing, uh, you, you've gone beyond the Covey and you have some other books of your own, but do you get to choose a writer? Like, can you collaborate with a writer? Are you to that place with the publishing house where you can say, I'm going to collaborate with so-and-so, but I'll do the illustrations, or how does that work? Um, normally, my agent... Um shows my work to different publishers and the way the seven habits worked was i was paired to sean covey he um chose about 25 illustrators to um to work with the seven habits and they paired them down until um i was the last one and i was his choice to um illustrate why do you think that was because you you think you got the message across with your visuals yeah and i like drawing animals and that's what he really liked about my work was um he saw some of the animal stuff that i had done and so he thought that really matched for the seven habits why do you like writing about animals um i just i don't know i just like drawing animals and um i've done some books with that are children and stuff like that, but I just keep gravitating toward animals, so I do really draw animals a lot. Now, you have a beautiful background as a political cartoonist for some major newspapers, and so you're doing children's illustrations. Stacy Curtis, what's, what's ahead? Um, right now, I am working on writing my own children's books, so I'm, I'm transitioning from just illustrating to writing and illustrating. So um, that's what I'm involved in right now. And The Seven Habits is being animated, so I'm working with the animation company to um, get The Seven Habits animated. Is that a whole different ball game when you get into the animation sector? It is, because... Um, 
I'm working with a huge group of people. I work with the animators and the people who um, do the backgrounds and stuff like that. And and some of the scenes, they need other characters besides the seven main characters. So I have to come in and design the other characters. So when you're looking around at a room filled with all these different kinds of people, does some of that, some of your visuals come in through the people around you, through your surroundings? Yeah, I always tell kids, like, whenever I um, go into their school, I'm always paying attention to everything around me because I've illustrated books that are about a classroom full of kids. So I need to know what their school looks like. I need to know, um, like, kids when I was growing up and kids now, they wear completely different styles of clothes. So I'm always paying attention when I do school visits of what kids are wearing now. And so I'm always paying attention to that kind of thing. So what will the first children's book by Stacy Curtis be, the new series? Do you have, can you tell us? Um, right now, I'm doing a picture. I'm writing a picture book about um, a lightning bug. A lightning bug. Does yeah. the lightning bug have a name? Not yet. Not yet. To be determined. Yes. But continued success. Thanks. And thank you for joining us. We've been talking with illustrator and writer Stacy Curtis from Outside the Book.